Welcome to creating an unattend.xml file. In this segment, we will create the file necessary to automate the pre-installation of Windows 7. To contact us or to learn about other video series as well as our consulting services, please visit opensmallbusinesssolutions.com. We'll begin by downloading and installing the Wake or Windows Advanced Installation Kit as well as RT7 Lite, a program that makes it easier to create the unattend file. Then we will create the XML file with RT7 Lite. After that, we will save the file and rename it unattend.xml. Finally, we'll make a completed snapshot. So let's get started. I'm going to go into the web browser. We want to type wake in there. There it is. Downloads Windows Automated Installation Kit for Windows 7. Click download. We're going to click OK. Next, we're going to search for RT7 Lite. When I go to the main site, I see that the service is unavailable, but I'm going to just try another download link. Click on Trusted Download. No, we would not like to install Software Informer. And we can save the file. Now that the files are downloaded, we're going to go into the Downloads folder. And we'll extract the installation media for RT7 Lite. We can go into the folder and double click on startcd.exe. Click on Windows AIK Setup. Click Next. Agree to the terms. Click Next. And finally, we can close out of the wizard and exit out of the main screen. Now if we go back to Downloads, we can double click on RT7 Lite, click Run, we can click Next, and Next again, accept the terms, and install. Finally, we can click Finish. Now we can go into the RT7 Lite, and we have to click on the Browse button, select OS Path. It's going to tell us that we first need to save the files on the local computer, so we can point it to a directory to save the files in. We'll create a folder called Windows Source, and it'll copy the files from the CD to the Windows Source file. We want to configure Windows 7 Professional and click OK. It'll load the image. Now we can go to Tasks and click on Unattend. Now the Unattend option is available. We want to skip the product key. By doing that, it'll use a default Microsoft key for the installation. Skip automatic activation. Accept the end user license agreement. Select this version on install. For our language, we're going to use English United States. For our name, we're just going to put in user. For the computer name, we'll put in Windows 7 Pro dash base. For the organization name, we'll just put in organization. 
We're going to skip user creation and type in an administrator password. And I selected three for the log on count. That's the number of times that the system will log you on automatically without asking for a password. If we go to the out of box experience tab, the network location is set to home. We're going to leave the updates alone for now. We'll hide the end user license agreement, hide the wireless setup, skip the user out of box experience, and we can go to the regional tab. Let's specify the time zone. In this case, I'm going to choose Eastern Time. I'm going to leave Run Once blank, as well as the hardware configuration. And click Apply. We can commit our settings. We don't need to enable ISO bootable task, so we'll click No. And we can click Finish. We'll go into the Windows Source folder, drill down to the DVD, and we have a new file called autounattend.xml. We're going to copy that. We'll go back into Explorer and into Computer Management. It sees that there's a second hard drive that we've never configured, so we're going to allow it to initialize it. And now we're going to right-click on it and do a new simple volume. Click Next. Accept the defaults. We want to format that NTFS, and we're going to change this name to Backup. Click Next and Finish. Now we've got a new drive available. We can go into the D drive, right click, and paste. And now we want to rename that file to unattends.xml. And now we'd like to create a snapshot. Close out and shut off the computer. Now in the VirtualBox Manager, we can create a snapshot. I'm going to call that Windows 7 underscore Pro underscore 64 underscore unattend underscore tools underscore complete. And click OK. So now we have that for our reference. That concludes this section. In this section, we downloaded and installed Windows Advanced Installation Kit, as well as RT7 Lite. We used RT7 Lite to create the XML file for the unattended installation. Then we prepared that second hard drive to be written on by formatting it. Afterwards, we copied the file to the second hard drive and renamed it to unattend.xml. And finally, we made a completed snapshot. For the next segment, we're going to start out in the regular Windows 7 Pro 64 virtual machine.